How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Got a 2018 Chevy Silverado here with a service trailer brake system warning light on a dash and a C1596 trailer brake power control module enables circuit short to ground trouble code in it. Well in this video I'm going to show you what to do and what to look for to get rid of this warning on your dash and hopefully save yourself a trip to the dealer. Well. Here we go. Now first thing I usually do is if you're dealing with the trailer lights or any kind of trailer power, so I always go check your connector. Take a look inside, make sure everything's clean, no corrosion, and I go ahead and check all the lights and all the functions. Usually just carry something like this. It's a quick little tester. The LEDs light up with each circuit you turn on. I'll leave a link to one something like this in the description of the video if you're interested. So you just open up your connector, push it in until it seats to the bottom, and you can go start turning your lights on. Okay, so those two lights, the middle one there, that's your headlights, and the one on the right, that's your 12 volt that would charge up your trailer battery for electric brakes. Let's check the turn signals. Okay, so we got our 12 volt power. And that's our left turn signal. Let's check the right. And we've got right turn signal. Now let's check the brake. And now you can see we've got our 12 volt power. We got our brake. Now the unfortunate thing about these new computerized trailer brake systems is these small testers, they don't put enough load on the system to make the modules think there's a trailer hooked up. So the module won't let the power get to the top center one there, which is your power for your trailer brake. So to test to see if you got output there, the best thing to do is hook up your trailer, plug in your connector, get into the truck, start it up, put it in gear, and basically do a tug test. Put it in gear and slowly drive forward. Apply your trailer brake, but not your foot brake, and see if the trailer brakes engage. And if they do, you know you got power going to their trailer brakes. That, and as you roll ahead and apply the trailer brake, you'll see your instrument cluster. You know it's working there. So like I said earlier, nine times out of 10, with that code and that warning, the problems with the trailer brake power but if you have a problem with any one of these next I will go into the engine compartment and start checking your fuses so if you open up the hood on the driver's side by the master cylinder you got your fuse cover take that off shows you all a bunch of your fuses and some relays and what GM's done a good job on is they've gone and numbered everything and given you a description as you can see all our trailer stuff's right there one and two your trailer brake and trailer battery and 14 15 and 17. everything you need is right in this fuse box so check your fuses and if your fuses turn out good we're going to go back to the truck and i'm going to show you a couple common failure points particularly for the trailer brake power Okay, so you get underneath your truck, you go to the back bumper, spare tires right here. This is your trailer connector. We're gonna pop that out and take a look at it. You can see there's a clip here and another clip on the other side. Just get a screwdriver, you simply press that in, press the other side in, and you can pull it through the back side of the bumper, get a better look. Now when you think about it, Behind your back bumper is a prime spot for dirt, debris, moisture, corrosion, everything. So your back wheels are kicking up all that dirt and it gets all over the connector here. So there's a couple spots you can check. Press this clip in and you can pull this out. Take a look at the back side, make sure there's no corrosion. Everything's clean. 
and also check the inside of your plug as well. Make sure everything's clean, no corrosion. This looks good. Plug it back in. And you can see these little locks here. You can release them. And there's another spot at the back. You can see the pins. Access to all your wires. Take a look in there for any more corrosion or broken wires or anything like that. Plug it back in. And again, just a good visual. See if you see any damaged wires or the blue crusties. This all looks good. So we can push that back in. Here's a better look at those locks here. A little bit tough to get at behind the bumper, but it's worth the time. Then you can clip it back in, and then I'm going to show you the most common point on these Chevy GMC trucks where you're going to have a problem with your trailer brake power. You go underneath the driver's side, the truck, you look up right on top of your spare tire, that's your trailer brake control module. As you can see, these wires have been repaired on probably more than one occasion if you ask me. So take a look for any broken wires or corrosion and with your key off, push this little clip back, release this plug and look at the connector, make sure everything's clean, dry and no corrosion. So take a look in the connector on both male and the female. Make sure all the pins are clean, no corrosion. And again, check your in for any broken wires. Once that all looks good, plug it back in until it clicks and push your lock back in. The next one you'd have to drop the spare tire right down to get good access to. So if you go underneath, you can look right through your spare tire, right through the wheel. And you can see that other connector. I actually had a broken wire going into that that I repaired and you can see the, the fresh tape there to keep everything dry again. Give that connector the same treatment. Any visual damage, corrosion, dirt, you know, the same thing. Undo the connector and take a look at the male and female ends of it too. Make sure everything looks good in there. Now once you perform all your repairs, double check all your lights again. And keep in mind, if you found a pop fuse or something, and it all seems to be working well with this, you might want to take a look at your trailer. If your trailer has electrical issues, it could cause a short circuit and cause these fuse to pop. So at least now you know everything's working on this side. If you have further problems, start going back, check your trailer over. And then with the trailer you use, have everything hooked up. Start your engine. We've got no more warning lights. Everything's functional. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and entertaining. And I definitely hope it helps someone save themselves a lot of money by fixing this kind of problem yourself. Because chasing down electrical issues can be a very time consuming process and cost you a lot of money. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when we get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good night, and keep wrenching.